right, folks, who's ready for some more wacky motion control misadventures with Gaming with Gel? I know I am, because I'm Gel. So, anyway, this past weekend, I found myself at a Big Lots looking for some cheap games, and they had a huge pile of... Cabela's Big Game Hunter Hunting Party for Connect. Now, the Cabela... I'm, I'm not a hunting fan. I give a moment of silence every time I step on a snail and go really far out of my way not to step on snails. I love snails. But, uh, yeah, these games have always intrigued me because, as you can see, they all come with a light gun. Like, these things predate the Connect. And they keep coming with light guns. And this one is a connect enabled one that comes with the light gun. And it was 25 bucks. Okay. Color me interested. Now, the light gun itself I, it is pretty freaking big once you actually put it together. In fact, it's like twice as big as the move Sharpshooter. Look at this beast. My favorite thing about it would have to be uh, how you put the batteries in it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Takes two double A's. Yeah. Put them in. Snap that in. Boom. Now, the reason I think these things were so cheap is because nowhere on the box does it mention that the Kinect is required. And as you can see, now that the gun is turned on, the Kinect is required as the light gun itself is just a series of colored lights that change color when you do things. It turns red when you shoot, green when you reload. So, in short, it's a move. It's a move for the Kinect. Okay, you want to get technical. The move has, you know, tilt sensors and gyroscopes and moisture sensors and a magnetometer and a bunch of other stuff and the light can change a bunch of different colors depending on the room so that way it can stand out the best but at its base level this is a move for your connect want to see how it works well let me just hit record switch this sucker over to AV, because I record in standard definition, because I'm cheap. Now let's play us some Cabela's Big Game Hunter Hunting Party. I will uh, try to sync this to the rather lengthy uh, calibration sequence. Could probably predict that. Amazingly, the game's pretty good, too. And yeah, this gun, shockingly accurate. Yeah. Look at me, Connect. Connect's doing a thing where it moves around. Sometimes I hate it when it does that when the game starts up, but yeah. Yeah, this is... This is the thing. <clears throat> Hopefully, I can uh, sync it pretty decently. I hate it when it gets desynced, because I know a lot of people are looking at the lag. Alright, Activision Games Farm. You know, a company like Games Farm would normally make you a little wary... Not not a great name for your company, but I I'm actually really surprised how how much I'm liking this game. Let's calibrate your play space. This game uses image recognition technology. Please close all blinds or curtains, then turn off any nearby lamps or fluorescent lights. Turn the peripheral on. Match the blue and green circles to the rings on the screen. Step forward or back to fit the circles inside the rings. Yep, calibrating now. The peripherals in the correct position. Okay, there we are. I have to move this forward. Nicely done. Keep the blue and green circles inside the rings while the screen is dim. Pull and hold the trigger. The top circle should be red. Let go of the trigger. Please hold still. In the next part, you'll need to align the blue circle with the moving duck and follow it around the screen. As you follow the duck, slowly follow the duck with the peripheral. Move your body left or right as you follow the duck. Try to move the peripheral slowly and gently. Yeah, you have to keep it level here. Probably gotta put this on Slowly fast forward. Move the peripheral to align with the stray ring. Hold the trigger and align with the stray ring. Hold the trigger and align with the stray ring. Hold the trigger and align with the stray ring. Shoot the on-screen target. Now this one. Next target. Well 
Well done. You've calibrated your person. You can recalibrate your Woo! All right. Yeah, this is actually surprisingly accurate. I wish there was a no crosshairs mode. <laughs> now, yes, you do have to have this down in order to have it work. And what a surprise. Unable to identify me. Shoot to continue. Yes, the Kinect itself is not compatible with this gun. Only this game. Yo, that's actually pretty surprising. That they went that far out of their way to, uh... Make a gun game work on the Kinect. That they specially programmed this game to track the... The... the gun. Oh yeah, hard drive. Ugh. Get, give me, give me a hand. Hard drive. Boom. Shoot to continue. That's the game using all that same function. Play a game. Resume story. I was last in British Columbia. Oh, wait. I was last in British Columbia. Oh, or high country. Survival mode, sweet! Okay, increases with it. Yes, you get perks. Second wind. Let's see if it can actually, like, put me on screen. There's this thing at the bottom of the screen I want you to see. Yes! It's working! Awesome! I love that little silhouette at the bottom of the screen. Because, yes, it does track how I'm tilted and moving. Oh, fuck. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Give me a shotgun. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, that's how you switch guns. You can also, like, double reload. That's sort of the one downer. Like, if anything... If anything doesn't work as uh, responsively as it should... It would be anything that involves the gun turning green, like uh, reloading, switching weapons with the reload trigger instead of the instead of using your hand. Oh shit! And uh, using power ups. Okay, here's a power up. Oh shit! Wolves! 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 wolves. Get shot! Get shot! You have to kick the crate. Yes. Oh shit, it's a bear! Oh shit, a bear! Oh shit, a bear! Get the dogs a bear! Get the dogs a bear! Kick the bear! Yes, you can kick the bear! There is a bear kicking achievement! Yeah! Who's next? Wolf? Oh, that's a special wolf. Uh, normally, you don't want to get headshots. That decreases the value of the trophies, apparently. That was something I had to get used to. But it's okay to headshot predators, because they're going to kill you. Also, one of the other weird things, um, you're not allowed to use uh, shotguns on game, and you're not allowed to use uh, rifles on birds. <laughs> It's the finish line. Yeah, when you play a survival thing in uh, gallery mode, then it actually lasts as long as you can last and just infinitely loops. Which I really like. Continue. 